We're going to talk about one of the most important concepts in tennis, which is balance. Balance means that you're swinging stable, that your body is in control. A lot of the mistakes in tennis comes because your body is out of control. You're losing control of the body because you're not lining up the ball or because you're moving in, in the wrong direction when you're swinging. So you want to make sure that when you're hitting the ball, you are stable. Balance starts with the head. If I want to move in any direction, my head needs to move first, then my body follows. So if we're able to control the head, then we're going to play in much better balance. One of the simplest exercises to work on keeping the head still is by using a cap. So instead of using your cap like you normally do, what you're going to do is you're going to turn it around and barely put it on your head, very lightly. And then you're going to try to move and hit the ball without losing the cap. That means totally controlling your head. Let's take a look at this. Working on keeping your head still every time that you're playing will definitely help you play a lot more balanced. The other drill that will help you stay balanced is one that forces you to widen your stance a little bit. To lose balance what's going to happen is that my head is going to pull my body out of my base of support. My base of support is basically the space between my feet. So if the space between my feet is very small, any little movement, any little lean is going to get me out of balance. But if I'm able to get my, the space between my feet wider and I bend a little bit, get a little bit lower, that's going to be a lot tougher to get out of balance. So I'm going to give you an exercise that's going to help you get the feel of taking a bigger step at the end before you swing. I'm going to ask my partner to step over a ball that I'm going to roll and then take a shadow swing. This will force her to think about taking a bigger step before swinging. So there you have it, head still and a bigger base of support. In order to test for balance when you're hitting, these next two drills will help you. What I want my partner to do is I want her to swing and then freeze the finish. If you're able to swing and freeze and not move at all, you are swinging with good balance. If you feel that you're having a hard time remaining still, that means somewhere you're losing the balance. So let's take a look at these exercises. On the first one, I'm going to just ask her to freeze. In the second one, I'm going to have her do it a little bit more complicated. That means lifting one of the legs. So forcing her to maintain the balance, but on one leg. One leg.
balance also applies to the serve. It is very important that when you're serving, you're perfectly balanced as you hit the ball and as you land. So let's take a look at two exercises to work on balance on the serve. On the first one, the player is going to try to play and serve with the feet together without moving at all. On the second exercise, the player is going to serve standing at the end, making sure that land and stay stable. Let's take a look at that. the landing Okay. Working on being balanced on the serve and keeping your body quiet is going to give you a lot more consistency. Try it, work on staying still, and you will see a very big difference.